Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss uh, partial fractions decomposition and now look at some general techniques of solving these or breaking these down. Basically, partial fraction decomposition is the process of breaking down rational functions. Uh, recall that rational functions from earlier videos are just uh, ratios of polynomials where polynomials are just something of the form A x for example 2 plus let's say x etc and this is basically just just a constant times variable to the power of a whole number you can learn more about polynomials in my earlier videos in the video link below basically it's a process of breaking these uh, rational functions down into simpler functions which are also rational functions uh, and these are called partial fractions now to illustrate this uh, concept, basically if we start, let's say, from simple rational functions such as 2 divided by x, and then we add it to 1 plus x plus 1. So if we were adding these together, uh, basically to do this we would have to find the common denominator, which in this case will just, it will, it will just be x times x plus 1. So we'll multiply the top and bottom of each other's uh, denominator. So 2 over x, we'll multiply this by x plus 1 on top and bottom, so we're not changing anything. And again, this is just to get the common denominator of x times x plus 1. Now here we'll do the same thing, but we'll multiply by x. So multiply x, multiply by x. So now we have a common denominator of, yeah, common denominator of x plus 1 times x. So then this multiplies it out, so we'll have 2x plus 2 now this adds up there plus x. Now divided by x over x plus 1. Now keep simplifying this out. Uh, this add these up. This will be 3x plus 2 equals, now multiply this out, x squared plus x. So there we've gotten from these, yeah, we've added these two functions into this combined rational function. Yeah, so now what partial fraction decomposition is, is basically working backwards. So it's basically starting from the function in the right hand side and breaking it apart by working backwards basically to get this part here. So we would get, let's say, 3x plus 2 over x squared plus 1. So basically we would work backwards until we get all the way to and breaking this apart into two simple ones, 2 divided by x plus 1 plus, yeah, 1 divided by x plus 1. So this is the concept of the partial fraction decomposition. Now the first step in, t in, in decomposing a rational function is by first factoring the denominator. And this is again if you were to work backwards, so we have this x squared plus x. See the difference here, we broke this down, and, oh, this is becomes two factors, x and x plus 1. So in this step what we would do is break this x plus x into, or just factor it out, this equals 2, divide the x out, x, and there's an x plus 1. So now we have two factors. And now the next step is basically we write the partial fractions with one of the factors for each of the de denominators. For example, if we were working backwards, as you could see here, so there's an x and x plus 1, and these are the denominators of these. So what we would do yeah, is, is write those fractions out, but since we don't know what the numerators are yet, we assign them letters. So we don't know if there are 2 or 1. So we would just write these as a over over x plus now the other, other factor. So this factor, now the second one, b over x plus 1. And now the next step is basically equating both sides, because now we've factored this out, and then we have to solve for a and b. So if we just, just put it together, we have 3x plus 2, so we're starting from the right side, this is x squared plus x. So the first step is to factor the denominator out, so 3 plus x2 over now, this is x over x plus 1. And now we just write this partial fractions, because we know that it's going to be part of the factors, the denominators are going to be the factors, so a over x plus b over x plus 1. And now we just simply solve for a and b, and then the usual method is by getting rid of the denominator, so we would multiply everything by x, uh, x times x plus 1. So we get here 3x plus 2 
times it by x, I'll just put this like this, times by x, x plus 1. This is over x and x plus 1. So again, these were just, just to cancel the denominator. So here we'll times it by x times x plus 1 over x plus b times by x times by x plus 1. And now, yeah, there's a x plus 1 here. So we're multiplying both sides, so we're not changing anything. So if we multiply both sides like this, now this all cancel, this x cancels, this x plus 1 cancels. So we're, we'll be left with 3x plus 2 is equal to a, now there's an x plus 1 plus bx. This simplifies further into ax plus a plus bx. And now what we could do, yes, yeah, this is a 3x plus 2. So now what we could do is uh, combine the like terms, which is x right here. So we have 3x plus 2 is equal to, let's add these out, just take the, or factor the x out. So a plus b over x plus a. So now if this left side equals this right side, the only way this is possible is if these coefficients line up. Like, so there's this 3 and there's a plus b, so we have to have 3 equals to a plus b. And now this coefficient here, which is a 2, has to equal to this a, because this is, this is the exact same thing as this left side, but they're just with a and b. So what we have now is 2 is equal to a. So we get that, now we plug this inside. This becomes 3 equals to 2 plus b. So b, subtract 2 out is going to be 1. So we know 2 equals to a and b equals to 1. And so then this we get 3x plus 2 over x squared plus x is equal to a which is 2 over x plus b which is 1 over x plus 1. And then that, so this is basically our answer. And if we were to scroll back up, this is exactly what we started off with. So this is just, that's one method of going to back to this, uh, or simpler rational functions, or those partial fractions. Yeah, so that's one method of uh, partial fraction decomposition. Yeah, but another way of solving for a and b is by choosing values of x and simply solving for a and b. So if we were to go back to, uh, let's say, up to this point right here, so we write it, write this down, 3x plus 2. So let's say we got up to here, now this is going to be a times by x plus 1 plus bx. So what we could do is just choose values of x because these a and b apply for any value of x. So if we choose a simple one, x equals to 0, what we get here, this cancels there, so we'll be left with 2 is equal to a, and now this x is 0, another 1 is just by itself. And now this is cancels out, so a equals to 2. And now another simple one we could put in is just x equals to 1. So we get 3 plus 2 is equal to, there's a which is going to be 2. So 2 times x which is 1. So 1 plus 1, that's just 2, plus b. So what happens here, this is just equal to, well, 5 equals to 4 plus b and b, the subtract the 4 out, equals to 1. So as you can see, this is the exact, uh, yeah, we get the exact same answer as this. So these are the same uh, yeah, coefficients a and b. And, and this one, sometimes this could save a lot of time using this method instead of actually having to solve these two different um, equations. Yeah, so sometimes this could save you a lot of time, so always keep this in mind. Now another note is basically in this example the denominator factored into unique linear factors. For example, yeah, we basically had uh, x squared plus x factor to x over x, uh, yeah, x times x plus 1. So these are linear, so these are just the power of 1, and they're also unique, meaning this occurs once and this occurs once as well. Yeah, and now decomposing rational functions of the this type above is pretty straightforward. 
Uh, but in later videos, I'll go over cases where the factors repeat and or have non-linear factors, such as this one right here, x plus 1 over x times by x minus 1 cubed. So as you can see, these are all linear factors, except this repeats, well, three times right here. And another more complicated one is basically x to the power of 4 plus 3 x minus 2 divided by, well, let's say if you have something like this, x squared plus 1. This is the power of 3. So as you, can, as you can see, and also something else here, x minus 4 squared. So here you have two repeating. So this repeats, and then this repeats as well. And it's also nonlinear inside. There's an x squared there. So this is nonlinear and repeating. So now basically decomposing uh, functions like this is more complicated and I'll get to these in later videos so stay tuned for that. Anyways, hopefully you learned from this uh, this quick video on it. Yeah, on uh, partial fraction decomposition. Hopefully you learned and like always you can download these exact notes in the link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.